What's up, guys? Um, today I actually got a, a question by one of my coworkers. Um, they wanted to know what I used to clean up my computer, and I thought it would be make a pretty good video. Uh, she has had some problems with her computer, virus, um, malware, all that stuff, and then it's also running a little bit slow. Um, so she's got a laptop, she brought it in, and I took a look at it. I installed these four programs, and it actually cleaned it up and made it pretty quick. Uh, so she was pretty happy with it, and they're all free programs, um, but I'll show you what I use to keep my computer clean and, and everything running pretty pretty smoothly. Um, those of you who say, oh, well, if, you, if you're going to have a computer, why not just get a Mac because they don't get viruses? Well, the truth is they do get viruses, or at least I've seen a couple instances where they have. Um, and to be honest, I've... I've my fiance has a Mac. I use a Mac at work for graphic design and stuff. I'm, I'm running on a Mac Pro, um, but I just I like Windows 7. I think they've done a really good job with it. But uh, I'm not I'm not doing a review on Windows or anything like that. But um, so these are the programs that I use. I'm going to start off with uh, CCleaner. And what CCleaner is is it's like an advanced version of Microsoft's or, or Windows um, Windows Disk Cleaner. And you can actually download it, just do a search for CCleaner and you will uh, see this little application. Um, in Windows 7 if you have the um, the user account control uh, UAC enabled then this will pop up and just hit yes um, and it opens up, well I don't have the, the latest version, I'm not going to down, uh, download it right now but you can actually do one of two things, you can analyze it uh, the files on your system and this program does more than one thing. It does cleaner, it does a registry cleaner, and then there's also additional tools which I'll get into the other two in a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to analyze my system. It shouldn't take too long. I have a fairly fairly quick computer. There we go. So I've analyzed my computer and I would be removing about 16 gigabytes worth of information which sounds about right because I just deleted about uh, I don't know, 12 or 13 gigabytes worth of uh, online course content which I had to upload and now I have to redo which we won't get into that but um, so I'm just gonna run the cleaner and that'll take care of all those files um, this gets rid of any Internet Explorer files that you might have had while just surfing on the internet it gets rid of recy uh, recycle bin uh, hi uh, your history on your browsers all that stuff. Um, so it does a really good job. I mean, I'm very happy with the way the program runs, and this is actually taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. Um, so I'm going to actually going to pause it, and I'm going to jump through once uh, each of these programs gets through. So I'll, I'll check back in in a few minutes. All right. So this just finished. Um, like I said, it took care of close to six, well, a little over 16 gigabytes worth of information. Um, it, all, it didn't take all that long. It took about a minute, minute and a half for it to actually finish um, after I hit pause. So it, it's fairly quick. Um, and it all depends on what you actually have on your computer. I have, My recycle bin was absolutely full. Um, so that's what took the longest. And now I'm going to get into this registry cleaner. And what the registry cleaner does is it'll, it'll check your registry for... Um, entries that are no longer being used that were associated with files or programs that were um, uninstalled or just entries that got randomly thrown in there from just an error or something like that. Um, so the first thing you need to do is scan for issues and this will go through your registry and pick out any uh, errors that, that it finds. Um, and I, I know I'm going to have a couple of them so we'll uh, let this go. Alright, so that just finished scanning. Now I have a couple of entries here. There's not a whole lot. I mean, I, I try and keep my computer fairly clean. Um, but I'm going to click on Fix Selected Issues. And the first thing I want to do is, do you want to back up your registry? Yes, I do. This isn't 100%, but if anything ever goes wrong, you'll have a backup of your registry and you can always restore it. So, I, yes, I want to back up my registry. Here I have a bunch of my registry backups already in a folder that I created so I'm just gonna hit save and then this little window pops up and I'm just gonna hit fix all so now that's all all taken care of and I'm just gonna close this the last piece of this program that I'm going to show you is tools and what this does is you can it has an uninstaller so you can launch the uninstaller for the application right from this window and it also has a selective startup 
So I have a bunch of different uh, programs that I've set to uh, not to start at launch or at, on Windows Startup. Um, so if I wanted to shut off QuickTime, I could click on the entry and hit disable, and that will disable that entry. Um, I find this a lot easier than MS Config, and it's actually uh, most people who are not tech savvy uh, will find this a lot easier, and they can actually manage what starts up and what doesn't. So uh, that's a great, great addition to this uh, this program. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is super anti-spyware. I've used malware bytes in the past, um, Spybot. This program I have found works the best. It uh, if I launch it, it's a, it's a pretty simple interface. The name's kind of okay. Um, they do have a free edition. They have a portable edition, which is awesome. So that way, if you're doing computer repair or something like that, and you don't actually want to install it on the computer you're, you're scanning, um, you can just launch the portable, uh, portable app. It'll run it, run the, the scan. And then afterwards, you can clean up any any entries or whatever. Um, there are a few times where it needs to finish cleaning those entries on restart, and at that point, well, then you're SOL. But um, so I'll go ahead and launch this application. Again, the the UAC thing pops up. Um, just forget that. Um, and then you get this interface. I'm, it's probably going to ask me to to do. Uh, updates. I haven't run it in I don't know a week or so, and they, these guys regularly uh, release updates. Oh, I have one right here. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to open the application. I'm going to wait for the window to pop up. There we go. Um, and then you have uh, you can schedule a scan if you want to. I believe this is. Pro version, yeah, pro version only, uh, which I think is like 20 bucks a year or something like that. Uh, you can check for your updates, all that stuff. Um, scan your computer. I would recommend doing the full scan and let it run through. There we go. My computer's a little lagging tonight. Um, do the perform the complete scan. Let it run all the way through. When you're done, uh, you're going to get a results window that pops up and lets you know what it found. Um, and at that point, just hit next. Uh, through the next two screens, and you'll uh, you're going to get those problems taken care of. Um, anything that needs to uh, be taken care of on restart, it'll ask you: Do you want to restart your computer? Um, or no, it'll ask you if you want to take care of these on restart, and then it'll do that. Um, click yes, restart your computer, and take care of those right away. You don't want to have those lingering around. I'm not going to do a full scan right now, just because it'll take too long, and I'm just going through the programs. I'm not actually trying to show you how to use them completely. Uh, with CCleaner, that's a great tool. It's quick, easy. Um, so I figured that I would go ahead and do that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is uh, the antivirus program that I use, and that is Komodo. And the reason why I use Komodo is because it's an all-in-one suite. So they have their antivirus, they have the software firewall. Now if I can get it to come up. Uh, there we go. I'm going to right click and open. Okay. So they have the antivirus, they have their firewall, and they have this added defense plus feature, which is basically it'll if it doesn't trust the program, it'll create a self-contained sandbox and it'll it's an extra step to help protect your computer against malicious software and, and stuff like that. Um, I have all of these turned on and I try and keep uh, up to date. I mean, this thing does automatic updates, all that stuff. It's completely free. Um, they do have the, pre, the, the pro version or the, or the paid version, which you can use, but this is what I use. Um, I've found that it works just as good as like AVG and stuff like that, but I like the added features that it comes with it. I mean, this is all my personal preference. You guys can give it a try and let me, let me know what you think. And last thing, and again, I'm not going to go through this program. Um, it's pretty intuitive. So, but I'm going to close out of that. The last thing, and I've actually found this program just by like going through different defrag programs, and I have to say this program works the best out of anything I've found, and that is free. Um, so it's actually called Oslogix, company from Australia, this defrag. And if you boot this up, takes a second. You'll see you have the different option for the different drives on your computer. 
But what makes this computer or this program different from what I have found in the other programs is you have the option to just defrag, which will clump the the, uh, the files together on your hard drive or, or in the location on your hard drive. But if you click this little down arrow, you have defrag and optimize. So this will take a lot longer, and it's probably something I would do right before you go to bed and let it run. And then they have this nice little check feature here, so you can turn off your computer. But I would uh, th this optimize feature. What it does is it takes all those clumps and it tries to like clump them into the beginning of your hard drive or in the, in the starting space in your hard drive. And this will uh, this will help free up so much more space because the information can only be stored in a certain set of information, a certain clump uh, or cluster. And um, the way that the files are written when you defrag, it doesn't always optimize that. And, and doing this will make sure that it, it places it as closely and compact as it uh, possibly can. So uh, I run this. It usually takes like an hour and a half, two hours on my computer, but I got a, a one terabyte drive that I have partitioned multiple times. and. And uh, I got a quad core that I'm running here, but um, it still it still takes a little while. So uh, make sure you uh, optimize, uh, defrag and optimize. Check the turn off PC after you're done, and uh, just walk away. Just go to bed or whatever. Um, but this is a great program. I've had great luck with it. Everybody that I've shown has been very happy with it. They use it over whatever they were using before. Um, but for free stuff, you can't really go wrong with this. And it's a, it's a great step to uh, help protect your computer. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm not really, I mean, this is like my first review uh, video that I've done. So, um, but this is just something that I thought would be helpful for other people uh, out there. So let me know what you think. Um, if you guys want to download it, try it out yourself, and then post something. Um, I'd like to see what you guys actually think after using the programs. So.